Patty Gleason and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your post notifications and wait till the end of this video for a post notification shout out. We have Anaki here to join me because she just wanted to be in the video. And today I'm gonna to be doing something a little bit different because I'm super excited and I think a lot of you guys are excited about this right now and you might be a little bit curious to see what it's like before you go out and get one. But I am unboxing two iPhone 11 Pro Maxis. <laughs> That's a lot of words, that's a lot of words. Okay, so we've got the gold and we've also got the space gray version and they have just arrived today, fresh in their packet. This isn't exactly what I thought it would look like because it's not what it looks like when you leave the Apple store, but that's that's kind of how they come <laughs> once you get them out of the box. So I'm going to open the gold one first because this is going to be my main new phone. As you can see, I don't really know much about phones and technology, so this is going to be really great for a lot of people that are just like, what are the new features that I care about that most tech people go on and on about all technical specifications, but then there's other people that just want to use the phone, like me, and not delve into all that kind of stuff, so let's discover this together, shall we? I'm making my first incision. I'm really like, oh, okay, well, once that's gone. <laughs> now it looks a lot nicer. I just wanted to show you what it looked like prior to taking it away from all of the box stuff. That's much nicer now. Okay, so we've got the 512 gigabyte and the 256 gigabyte. So this gold one is basically the most upgraded, pro, most expensive, full on, best you can get phone out there. As you guys know, oh, Annika's like, one for me, thanks. Okay, here you go, that's yours. The reason why I decided to get this is because if you look at my photos and videos on my phone, I have billions and billions and billions of photos and videos because obviously that's how I live my life, taking photos and videos on my phone. So I thought I should get the best one out there. It's only a little bit extra with my phone plan on T-Mobile, so I'm not really breaking the bank too much by getting this guy here. And it's basically my office, not my orifice just my office. Let's get it started. Oh, I smell the fresh plastic. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Okay, there's so many lenses now that it kind of looks like the eyes of a fly. I feel like by the like by the end of next decade we're just going to have a screen filled with lenses which is going to be great. Um okay, I don't know what else to say. So I'm really loving, I know that this sounds really elementary, but I'm really loving that it's like not smooth anymore. Like now it's kind of like a matte gold. If I can compare to my poor broken one. This is my iPhone 10s Max compared to the new iPhone 11 Pro Max. <laughs> what else do we have in here? Got our little instructional booklet. Hello. Hello, Apple. What else do we have? Uh, of course, our little Apple stickers. I don't, has anyone ever used these? Can someone like let me know in the comment section below if you've purchased an item from Apple and received these stickers? Like, do you ever use them? Maybe I should use them to like put on my hydro flask. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Next week, we'll decorate my hydro flask with these. Okay, so we've got a little bit of information, which is probably something that I'm going to need because I am technologically a little bit confused. Okay, what else do we have? We've got our earbuds that are connected to the lightning cable. Oh, no AirPods here. I can fix that. <laughs> no! Okay, now we've got a big fat cube, guys. So this has the USB-C fast charging cable thingy, majiggy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Technological words. All that I know is that this phone apparently is going to charge super, super fast, which is fantastic for all of us that are constantly addicted to social media because go out for like half an hour and by the end of it, your phone is usually dead. So hopefully if you just keep this with you, yeah, your phone is gonna charge super fast. This phone has five hours more battery life than my current phone right now. Annika's <laughs> bored, but that's because you don't 
don't have to worry about technology and phones. You just wake up and get fed and then I clean up your poop. Yeah. Walk away from me. That's right. Leave the adults to the adulting. Strip. Okay, you guys are gonna see this before I get to. Is it doing anything? <laughs> oh no. Come on, phone. Turn on. Am I not doing this right? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I just had to hold it down longer. And now I need to do the boring swapping over stuff. But um, apparently they have made this super easy for me. A click of a button, I should be able to back up. Like my iPhone has now been backed up, but I can transfer everything from this phone onto this phone super easy. So let's see how easy it really is, shall we? Hola, hola. Yes, das ist gut, ja. Oh wow, we have... Oh my god. Oh my god! What is wrong with. No, Annika, Annika, leave it! And then the dog steps on it. Oh, okay. I love that you go step on the phone that I've just dropped and then come to me, my rescue. Like, you go make it worse. I'm gonna stop crying. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need phone cases immediately. So the moment. I swap this over. I'm going to put that phone back in some kind of box. I'm gonna put it back in its box until I, excuse me, what is going on here? Yes, you can tell I'm distraught because I just got my new phone and I smashed it. That's why I'm distraught, Annika. It's ruined my life. Okay, it's okay. Okay, I just picked it up from dropping it. On purpose, of course. I did notice that the first time I got my old iPhone 10, I got it pretty scratched up. I don't know if you see it in the right light. I basically scratched this screen on the first day I received my iPhone 10. After dropping that phone, and I'm gonna check, let's see. Apparently, this screen has more durable glass. Okay, so this glass is way more durable and I've given it a bit of a wipe. Oh my gosh, I want to cry because something has gone right in my life. There are no scratches at all, not one scratch. That floor is not clean. That floor has like little rocks all over it from Annika like stepping in a whole lot of rocks. Yep, no scratches, no dents, no cracks. I basically got this crack in my old phone on the first day that I got it. Let's see how easy it is to transfer my data over. Okay, we're gonna select English because, I mean, we could start with a bit of a challenge like Francais and just learn as we go, but um, considering the fact that I've already dropped my phone by accident, I don't wanna actually start to add things where I'm gonna get frustrated and wanna throw my phone. So we're gonna hit English. Select your country or region. Well, I am in the United States, so we're gonna select that guy. Quick start, if you have an iPhone or iPad running iOS 11 or later, bring it nearby to sign in automatically. If you want, you can also set up this iPhone manually. We're gonna put this guy nearby. Okay, it's saying set up new iPhone, use your Apple ID. So I can just set up my new iPhone apparently with one touch, so I'm gonna hit continue. Hold your new iPhone up to the camera. So I just put it over that. Just waiting for my iPhone, finishing on new iPhone, so I'm basically doing this. Oh, I have to enter the passcode of my other iPhone. Nine, zero, two, one, three, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're gonna choose our Wi-Fi network. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Okay, so I need to confirm my phone number. So this phone's already come with a new SIM card. So we're just gonna be, I guess we're porting the number over and I can do that myself. I need to enter the last four digits of my social security number. And I don't know what that is, so I'm gonna go figure that out. Yes, I'm the only person that has a social security number that doesn't remember it off by heart. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. <laughs> Finishing our new iPhone, and then we've got the new iPhone still activating. It's, it's literally been like a minute so far, so 
super, super quick. My Wi-Fi is good. While we wait for that, we're just gonna tidy up, shall we? No, I'm gonna use this box because let's face it, I don't trust myself and I need to get a case for this phone. But what I do wanna do uh, today is take this phone out on a few tests for video and photos because that's pretty much what's most important to me. Obviously, uh, some other people want to use their phones for, I don't know, I guess games and stuff, which I do use my phone for. This is probably the best phone to use for games as well because it has the most amount of memory. We have about 20% more processing power and about 10 to 20% better LTE. It's gonna make being out and living my life and sharing it with you guys on social media a lot more instant because I remember I used to have to like take a photo for Instagram, save it, and then wait till I got back on a Wi-Fi just to be able to like tag things. I really need to get a case for this phone. I'm really scared. It's about the same size. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hold it and pinch it with my fingers. It looks, move these guys out of the way. So it looks about the same size. It's a little bit, so it looks like it's slightly thicker and it feels heavier, but not much heavier than my previous phone. As you can see, I've actually put my new phone into my iPhone 10 Max Lumi case. You can only see the two cameras and I'm sure it's not gonna work properly for the back camera. But if I do wanna go out and don't wanna spend another 80 bucks on another Lumi case, I usually use this for selfies anyway, so it's perfect to still use the light for selfies. Okay, so while that one activates, I'm going to open up the Space Gray iPhone 11 Pro Max. <laughs> I had to like memorize all the words before I started. It's very confusing. So that you guys can have a look and see what that one looks like as well. You can't even see it on this black background. I reckon they should have put this one in a white box so that you can see it better. Oh, look at this bad boy. This is really, really nice. This is the space gray. I like to call it the Batmobile because it looks like a Batmobile. Like this looks like a Batman phone. This is definitely the phone that Batman would have. Just so you guys know, there is a purple light that is above me. So don't be confused. Computer, island lights white. As you can see, my computer only responds to American accents. So computer, island lights purple. And back it goes. It looks good in all lights. Okay, we're gonna open him up. Hold it really tight so that it doesn't fly out of my hand. Ah, spacey. Not Kevin though. That was awkward. Okay, so I had to do it twice. I don't even know why. It seems to be working and I can start setting up face ID. Yay! Position your face in the camera. I will show you all the angles of my face. Move iPhone a little lower. I did! First face ID scan complete. And we hit continue. Reposition your face in the frame, okay. I have to move my head slowly to give them all the angles. Face ID is now set up, yay! Okay, transfer your data. You can directly transfer your data during setup or finish downloading it later. Transfer from iPhone or download from iCloud. One of two options. I wanna choose download from iCloud, kind of. Sort of, oh, baby, boom. And then the lightning cable is still the same. So this is the same as my laptop, but not this side. This is still old school. Ta-da! Three or four pairs of these <laughs> from the last few iPhones that I have been through and they always end up missing. Okay guys, the phone is set up and ready to go. Let's take it out into the big bad world. Oh yeah! The transferring my data over took a lot longer than I thought. I didn't actually get a chance to go to the Apple store and get a proper new iPhone 11 Pro Max case. So I've put my Lumi case back on and I'm just going to go out and about in downtown LA. My friend has her art show. So I'm just gonna go get some dinner and try out my new camera in low light. So check. Ah, I dropped it again! Why? 
What is wrong with me? Oh my god. I'm gonna put it in my pockets. Oh my god. I hate myself so much right now. Okay, so I tested the phone out in low light. It was really cool to see that we can now do slow motion in the selfie cam. That was pretty awesome. It's a shame that obviously it doesn't do so well in low light as the normal video camera selfie in low light. Yeah, I think I'm in love with the cameras, how much we're able to do in darkness, especially the fact that I need glasses regularly and I'm blind as a bat. I actually noticed that I was able to take footage footage or a photo of something far away and be able to read it like a menu that's kind of like up on a board I really really think that the slow-mo thing is gonna be super popular for people especially with the fact that it's a selfie thing now I know that like it's not so good that it's low light but that doesn't matter the camera in low light is amazing all in all I think the iPhone 11 Pro Max is really awesome I look forward to using all the new features so I'm out right Right now in downtown LA and I have switched to just my phone selfie camera and it's looking pretty amazing in this low light. I am loving it. Let's flip it around. Okay, look at this guys. This is pretty crazy. This is it's really dark in here and if I look through my camera, it's actually brighter on the screen than it is in real life. We can also Zoom in, check out that painting. I can actually see this painting so much clearer through my phone than with my eyes. And we can zoom out pretty far. So that's really cool. We can get kind of like wide. And then that's regular. Regular. Guys, this is the brightened up my face so I don't know if the sound worked I'll find out when I'm editing but I was just using the slow-mo front-facing camera which is really cool we've never been able to do slow-mo with front-facing camera before that is going to completely change TikTok thank you guys so much for joining me today make sure you like subscribe turn on those post notifications Comment in the comment section below if you guys are interested in getting the new iPhone or if you're not feeling it. I wanna know, I wanna know, I wanna know. Post notification shout out goes to Michaela Life 101 Thank you so much for putting on your reminders, for having those post notifications on, for being there every week. I love you guys so much, Cartiators. Have an amazing week. I'll see you soon.